Hey guys, so I have recently jumped back onto this website called Code Wars. For you guys who don't know what it is, it's basically a website where you can go on as a developer to sharpen your coding skills, to broaden your knowledge, and be presented with problems and also scenarios where you need to use code to solve those problems. And I think it's a great thing for me to document as I go through this website once more, obviously using JavaScript, so that you guys can see the type of scenarios being presented on this website website and also how I would go ahead and solve those issues. As you guys know, there are many ways to kill a cat and this is true with code as well. There are many ways to get to the end result. So my way is not necessarily the right way or the only way, but it is a way to get to that final result. With that much said, let's quickly take a look at today's instruction and what we need to do. So I'm going to read the instruction here on your left hand side. It reads as follow that an isogram is a word that has no repeating letters, consecutive or non-consecutive. So basically the first thing we didn't know is that our program needs to determine is the string being passed through? Does it have any repeating letters? And then it says that we need to implement a function that determines this, whether a string contains only one letter or it doesn't. So if it does contain only a single letter in that word, it's considered an isogram. If not, it should return false. And then we have a second part of the scenario. It's saying, assume that an empty string is also an isogram. And also it must, we must ignore letter case. So basically we have this three scenarios we need to make sure the string being passed through that all letters are actually unique and they are not repeating letters we need to make sure that an empty string passes as an isogram and we need to make sure that our in string being passed through it's not case sensitive so i'm gonna go ahead and start with the e easiest one which is the case the letter um case sensitivity if i can put it that way and how we can determine this is just by saying take the string being passed through but in the param and make everything lowercase so i can go ahead and say two lowercase all right so now we know whatever's being passed through over here has been changed into lowercase whether everything was uppercase whether it was um camel case everything will be now changed to lowercase and i'm gonna create mine or i'm going to determine my string if there's any repeating letters using the set method Okay, and how this works, it's as follow. I can go ahead and say new set, and inside of the set, I'm gonna pass through this string. So quickly show you guys, I can't do console log in this program, but what I'm gonna show you, what this would actually do is the following. Let's say the string being passed through is, actually I'm just gonna comment this out, because I just wanna show you guys. The string being passed through, it's called baby. So basically the string is called baby and what would set do set will do the following set will create a object type of each character of each unique character. So how that would look like is the following. Let me do this. So that would look like it will take the B put that in quotation marks, right? And then it will check the second letter it will say, okay, we have an A put that in quotation mark and we'll look at the B and they can ignore that because already have a B in here and we'll take the Y. So now we can determine one thing. We can already see that the set over here, its length, it's already one character less. Okay. So now we can go ahead and evaluate that and say that if the string is one case or not one case, one letter smaller, or two letters smaller than the original string length, we know that that is not an isogram string but if it's the same amount of string letters then we know that it's an isogram string okay hope you guys are still with me here so basically what i'm saying is that the string over here that is now to lowercase we need to make sure that the size of the string is the same as the string length so we need to make sure is it the same as the one that being passed through over here if that's true Obviously, it's an isogram, it's going to pass it through, and if it's not, it's not going to pass it through, it's going to show um, as false, which means that a letter was removed. So I'm going to go ahead and return this, and I'm going to take this out over here, and let's quickly run this program and see if that works. So basically, this function I've created here, it's being called down here, 
with this sample test. So they're already passing through some different strings. As you guys can see, some of them are camel case. Um, we have an empty string. And let's see if we do have any isogram strings in there. So if I click on test, it's going to run our output. And as you guys can see, we have passed all of these. So basically, just to quickly recap on what's happening over here, we're saying that the string being passed through so the set what it does is it takes a string being passed through and it only returns the unique unique letters in that string and so if we have any duplicates for instance if string was equal to abba what we would have in here is only an a let's say a and a b that's the only two characters we would have in the set because this is the only two unique characters and the rest just repeat so it only take those two and we currently have a b and we have an a which means that this guy's length is now equal to two while the original string's length was actually four so if we compare the two strings or if we, if we compare the two lengths to each other and say if it's true saying that both the lengths are the same it's obviously it's an isogram string if it, if that's not the case then it's not an isogram and that is why we have true for this true for that for abba we have false because we have a double a over there for moose we have false because um we have double o the letter o and the same goes for is isogram we have double i double s and an empty string would be true as you guys can see uh, because nothing is repeating over there i hope you guys like this video i hope you guys you like this type of short quick videos if you want me to go ahead and create more of this type of videos hit me up in a comment let me know i'm thinking of creating a playlist where i will publish once or twice a week the time i spent on code wars and just bettering myself as a developer so until next time guys keep learning stay safe